Notifica notifications, Jesus, notifications can be overwhelming. I'm gonna show you how to manage Facebook business page notifications so you only get the most important ones. All right, let's get into it. Hello, welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners become streamlined entrepreneurs by helping them eliminate 50 to 80% of their social media workload while increasing results. You want that in your business? Would love to help you. Take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And today I'm gonna to show you how to manage your Facebook business page notifications. They can be overwhelming, especially if they're popping up on your phone, you're getting an email, different things like that. And even if your business is new and your page is not getting a lot of notifications yet, because there's not a lot of engagement, we can still walk through how to get them set up right so as you grow, it doesn't become overwhelming. Now to get to your notification settings, you're going to want to go to settings over here on the left of your business page. And we are setting this up on a computer. I will make a recommendation for phone notifications once we get through this part on the desktop. So click through there and then you can click notifications here on the left. And this is basically where you go through and set up exactly what you want. And you can obviously read this, but I want to make my recommendations after managing dozens, if not, you know, over a hundred different pages over the years. Also notice, I like that they've added this note at the top. This is what you will receive. So these are my notifications. So if you have another admin or editor on your page, they have their own settings that they can set up. So first, allow notifications. Yes, if you're using your business page, you're gonna to wanna to know when somebody sends you a message or if somebody leaves a comment or leaves a good review or a bad review, anything like that. So leave that on and then you choose you can get a notification in real time each time there's activity or updates on your page. So if you are super active on your page, you have a lot of engagement and you want to get back to people as soon as possible. And I'll tell you, when you're a new business owner, you feel like that's required. Like, well, I've got to have good customer service. Don't let social media suck up all of your time. I've worked with massive clients and we would go through once in the morning and once in the evening and that's it and you will be okay. Most businesses are fine in that way, unless you're a multinational corporation. So the other option is you can choose only get one scheduled notification per day on all activity and updates to your page. And so if you choose that, you'll notice that everything else got turned off down below, and you'll basically get a summary of everything every 12 to 24 hours. So we go back, turn that back on. Next is where do you want to get notifications? Now you're gonna get them here on Facebook, you know, the little red circle that pops up in the corner either way. But if you want, you can have them email you every time or you can have them SMS or text you every time you get a notification. Now, that's a lot. And sometimes if people have all these on and they just go, oh my God, I can't stand it. Facebook, it's too much. So I would recommend turning off anything. I don't want emails. I don't want text messages. I go through my page twice a day and I look at the notifications. However, if you like email because you want an email for everything you have to check, then you might wanna turn on email in that way. The only way I would do text is if you feel like you have to get back to people within a few minutes, no matter what the case may be. But again, do not let social media control your life in that way. So I have both of those off. Then next you choose what you want a notification for. So again, everybody's different. You decide what's good for you. Here's how I have it. Uh, new messages I have on, new page check-in I don't have on because I don't need to know that. But if you have a physical location and you wanna to reply to people that check in, then you might wanna have that turned on. New page mention, yeah, I wanna know if somebody mentions my page, new review, new comment. So those are all really intentional actions that somebody takes that, yeah, I wanna be notified when that happens. Not necessarily immediately, which is why I turned off the emails and the, the SMS text messages, but I do wanna be aware of that so that I can engage with those people. Next is new likes. I do not care to know every time somebody likes my page. If you have a quickly growing page, you would be quickly overwhelmed. So I have that off and then new likes on a post. Again, I'm grateful for anybody that likes or loves a post, but I don't need to be notified when that happens because there's nothing for me to really do with that. Next up is new subscribers to events. If you wanna know when people mark themselves as interested or going to your events, you can have that turned on. I don't do a lot of events on my Facebook page. I do events in my Facebook group. Um, so that's just kind of been left on. Uh, next, do you wanna know when people share your posts? Again, this is one of those things I'm grateful. I do see it when I go look at the post, but I don't need a notification every time it happens. I don't need to know every time there's a new follower. 
Uh, these last two are important if you have multiple people managing the page. So let's say that you have a community manager or a VA or somebody that helps you out. These are good to have on just so you know if you wrote something and then someone else came in and edited it, it's really nice to be aware of. And then these last ones, if your page is in a group, then you can get notifications about activity in that group that your page is in. So again, turn off the new likes, the new followers, because those aren't things you can do anything with. In the beginning, it's kind of fun. You're like, oh, I got another follower. But eventually you're gonna be focusing and moving on to other things. Now on your smartphone, there aren't really additional settings in the Facebook apps, but you can go into your phone's notifications and decide how often you want to be interrupted in your day with your phone. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm a big proponent of letting, like you be in control of social media, don't let it control you. So this is in the Facebook Business Suite app, which is for controlling pages. There's also the Creator Studio app and the regular Facebook app. But I, I actually have all of these completely turned off because like I said, I just go in once in the morning and once in the late afternoon and I go through my notifications and I try not to do it any other time. So normally mine looks like this, but you can go through and if it's like interrupting your day too much or anything like that, like at least turn the sound off. And again, this is on an iPhone, Android would look a little bit different. If that red dot on the app that shows how many notifications you have gives you anxiety on an iPhone, you can turn that off. But just take a second, go through, set it up what makes the most sense for your life. And if you're worried about it, try it for a week, see if you miss anything urgent. And if you didn't, then maybe try it for another week. So now that we've got all those settings the way that we want them, here's the fastest way to manage your page notifications. Again, don't let it overwhelm you. I come in once first thing in the morning, once at the end of my day, and that's it. So if you do it from your business page, there's two really cool ways to do it on a computer. One, you just click here on notifications on the left, and it brings them up in this column. And as you click on each one, it will go through and bring it up. So if this was something I wanted to comment on, I could leave my comment. Then I scroll down to the next one that maybe needs a comment. And if it's somebody who's commenting on your posts on your page, it has this little green icon, which kind of helps it stand out a little more, which is really, really nice. And you can come over and leave your comments there. Now, Creator Studio lets you do it in a slightly different way. And this is another free tool from Facebook. You can go to facebook.com slash creator studio. And once you're in Creator Studio and your page is connected, you click over here on Inbox Plus. And this lets you manage both your messages and your notifications in one place. So there's four columns up here. The first one is my messages that my page gets, and they're all here kind of like a traditional email inbox that you might use, and you can reply to things as you want. Then the next one are your notifications, except they actually show up like an inbox. So you can click through to each one. But the cool part about this, for those of you that like to have an empty inbox and a clean desk, Clearly I'm not one of those. You can go through and uh, click this little button. And once you're done with a notification, you can archive it and it just goes away. It goes to a done folder and you can empty this out. So if that makes you feel like, okay, I didn't miss anything. You might love this. And then these next two, if you have an Instagram creator profile or business profile connected to your page, you can go through and see your notifications here in the same way. And then this last one is your direct messages. I don't have direct messages connected to my page here, but it's super simple all in one place. Finally, if you do wanna do it on your phone, it's not gonna be as fast, but you can do it on the go. There's two apps for managing pages. One is Creator Studio from Facebook. So you can get this for iPhones or Android. And the other one is called Facebook Business Suite. It used to be called Facebook Pages Manager. This is the new version of that. So both of those work for managing your Facebook business page. I hope that helps you get notifications managed so they don't become overwhelming. And if you've got other challenges with social media for your business, I put together this social media quick fix guide. It is normally $19, but I'm offering it to my YouTube community for free. It identifies some of the major problems around getting engagement or reach or sales, as well as the first steps on how to correct them. You can get it using the link on the screen or find the link to click in the description of this video. All right, was this helpful? Is this gonna help you help you manage your Facebook notifications? If so, take a second, click uh, like on this video, and I'd love it if you left me a comment as well. I love to read those. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.